Okay, folks, I've been made aware by my producers like just five minutes ago what the ick is. Didn't really hear of this thing until now, but we're about to find out what the ick is and what, I guess, these women's icks are or, or, or something. This video is sponsored by GenuCell. Okay, I feel so bad making this video, but here are real things that have given me the ick with guys that I've been dating. Okay, one time I was going on a first date with this guy and he came to pick me up and his car alarm went off. No, 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 no. He couldn't figure out how to turn it off. He couldn't figure out how to turn it off. It was like five minutes of straight car alarm and I had to stand there like this, like, like a little sim thing. I didn't know what to do with my hands or my body. What do I do? I'm gonna call his dad. Okay, so um, uh, the ick apparently is a point in which your initial attraction to a person flips into a feeling of disgust. The ick is a really intense turnoff. They can be legitimate or very obscure. It isn't always logical, but it is often a relationship killer. The causes are many and various, but once someone gives you the ick, all desire is killed. You only want to get away. You cannot ignore an ick despite your better judgment. Essentially, the ick is when a sudden pang of disgust wounds your romance with someone, which used to just be called, I don't want to go on a date with you anymore. It's been really nice dating you for a while, and uh, good luck. But now it's called the ick because we can't even do full words anymore. We just do sort of onomatopoeia, the ick, the ick. Then my ex-boyfriend sent me a PowerPoint he had made for his work. Oh no, a PowerPoint. <laughs> this PowerPoint, <laughs> this was like his finished work. You didn't prepare a presentation at all, did you? You know what, I had a really rough night. So men need something similar to imposter syndrome, right? The wage gap? Income inequality, those are real issues. That's what I realized that day. Maybe you're just getting paid less because you don't appear to be a genius. PowerPoint Man X also posted this on his Instagram story. <laughs> it's not a terrible quote. Anytime people post anything that's like an inspirational quote over like some dramatic picture of a man standing there. A based Sigma male. It's like, are you a real person? Okay, so I have a generalized point to make about this. She's posting this on her TikTok. Okay, so here's something that gives me an ick. If you post very detailed stories about your life direct into camera that no one cares about on TikTok, feels like you might be a narcissist. Might be, just a little. He also called me Brooke. Not my name, but close enough. Also this guy- I Yeah, really that, that's not great. I mean, you should probably call you by your name. I've got a name. Now that one, that one I, I hear. Calling, calling people by the wrong name is typically not the, the best idea. All right, fair enough. In college, I finally started hanging out with him and his entire sense of humor was just like, People getting hit in the head. Oh! Or like people falling down. Oh. That was his punchline. He needed me to watch every single video. And that's when I looked at him and I was like, I never want to marry him. If these are the factors upon which you decide whether to marry a person, I, you know what I noticed is that none of your icks actually involved actual real world values. You know, you, you can have icks, but that's on top of the values discussion. If the idea is that you're not even going to have the values conversation and that your real icks, the, your, your, your weeding mechanism is going to be whether a car alarm went off on a first date and not how we would raise our kids, your weeding mechanism is wrong. He's a good man, Savannah. A good man. Or you could just tell him he has pasta sauce on the side of his mouth. You could just do that. Instead, you came in here, like, again, the narcissistic personality disorder of all these people on social media. It's like, I'm going to go on TikTok and I'm going to take a video of myself reacting to a dude with pasta sauce on his face. You could just say you have pasta sauce on like, I've, I, By the way, I've never understood the social awkwardness about this sort of thing. People will be like, how do I tell that guy that he's got broccoli in his teeth? You say to him, dude, you got some broccoli in your teeth. That's how you do it. Boom, done. Or you subtly signal. Why, why, why can't you just say, you know, you might, you have some pasta sauce right there. You might want to wipe it off. Like, no, I'm going I'm to film an entire video about how he had pasta sauce on the side of his mouth. Same thing with regard to, um, you know, boogers. As soon as you got something to hang out of their nose, just say, you got something to hang out of your nose, you need to blow your nose. Again, general rule of thumb, if you're posting an ick video, you give people the ick. Are there any reasons or is she just... Okay, that was too fast. So I need to go through these one by one. Yeah, that's terrible that he called you pretty too many times in one day. As we all know, women hate being called pretty by the people they're dating. Held my hand in, wow. Held my hand, that, that's brutal. Breathed too heavy. I mean, was he mouth breathing? Was he like, ah? Mouth breather. Like, well, what does that mean? Told his friends about me. You mean like had conversations about you to his friends? Was too nice to me. Dropped all his plans for me. What I'm gathering is what you want is the silent abusive type. A person who breathes softly 
but also will not drop any of his plans for you, not talk to his friends about you, not hold your hand, not call you pretty, and not be nice to you. Do you want me to go? I think if you stay, something bad will happen. That's what I'm gathering that this woman wants. Okay. Hmm, interesting. The suspense is terrible. I hope it'll last. <laughs> That is the ickiest ick of all time is trying to pick up a rolling tennis ball off the ground. Are you dating nothing but Wimbledon ball boys? New ick unlocked. New ick alert. If you have a crush, you're trying to get rid of the feels. Just imagine him tying his shoe. <laughs> and he's like, you put the bunny through the loop and it goes in the hole. Stop that. If the ick is tying your shoes, um, you're gonna have a problem because pretty much everyone in the first world has shoes with shoelaces. Uh, if the ick is describing tying the shoe, is that something that people commonly do to one another? Your shoe's here, let me help you. Stop that! I'm confused. I've, I've done that like to my nine-year-old daughter to teach her how to tie her shoes and to my six-year-old son to teach him how to tie his shoes, but um, okay. Well, folks, if you don't want somebody to decide that you have an ick or you are their, their ick because your skin is screwed up. This is why you need GenuCell, GenuCell Skin Care. Jessica from Huntsville, Alabama says, my skin looks so soft and clear. I've seen a reduced number of fine lines and dark spots. I have found a new lifetime product. Absolutely love it. GenuCell Skin Care uses a one-of-a-kind proprietary flower base. It's developed by the founder and pharmacist, along with rare botanical extracts and powerful antioxidants for skincare results that work guaranteed. GenuCell Skin Care, it's uniquely formulated to visibly target all the visible signs of aging. I'm talking fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, sagging jawline, even those puffy under eye bags. Their products work for both men and women. Plus, they're safe for all skin types. You'll see results in 12 hours guaranteed or your money back. Tessa uses GenuCell under eye treatment to help get rid of the bags under her eyes. You should try GenuCell's most popular package for 70% off at GenuCell.com slash Ben. Join millions of happy customers who have already fallen in love with the results. Plus, for a limited time, get GenuCell's probiotic extract moisturizer free with every most popular package. Go to GenuCell.com slash Ben. That's GenuCell.com slash Ben. G-E-N-U-C-E-L.com slash Ben. Okay, we're going to go through my ick list for men because why not? So starting off with number one, if you can't spell or use like the right grammar, see you um if you laugh at your own jokes and i don't find them funny which i laugh at everything y bye um if you don't say hi to other people in the room you're just rude like see you if you're shy and you can't handle my extroverted self not gonna work out if you don't use cologne like if you don't if you smell like straight garbage no mama's boy i love a good family guy oh okay but if you're like dependent on your mom and you can't make your own like appointments and stuff, no. If you're a picky eater, mm, no. I'll be honest with that. The, until she got to that line, I was like, okay, that, that's actually not a horrible list. I'm actually okay with most of these, to be honest with you. Uh, I, none of these really bother me. A picky eater seems kind of weird to me because I, I don't know, um, like, do you have to eat everything? Mm. All the rest of these, I could see some actual values implications. Like being a mama's boy actually has some pretty real ramifications for how your family life is going to go. Mom! Mommy, mommy, mama, mama. What? Or if you are shy and you're married to a person who's an extrovert, sometimes that's a problem. If you only laugh at your own jokes, like these are all personality issues that could come up. So yeah, I, I, again, I actually don't think that this list is the worst list that we've seen so far. If you have no career goals. Yeah, that's a good reason not to date somebody. Yeah, no. You have to have like something going for you. If you still live with your parents. No. If you have no hygiene, like, if you use two-in-one shampoo, that's not hygiene. What, what, what's wrong with conditioner and shampoo in one bottle? I'm, I'm, first of all, dudes should not use conditioner at all. They're men. Unless they have a mullet, there's no reason to use conditioner. By the way, it's a stretch for most men not to just use the body soap in their hair. I used to wash my hair with a bar of soap like a barbarian got my straight. Soap on the head? A man's shower is supposed to take less than five minutes. That's how it's supposed to work. How many soaps do I use? I use Jeremy's. That's it. I own the f***ing company. If you don't make your bed, I, I don't have any faith in you. Uh, Jordan Peterson. If you can't clean, goodbye. Okay, this is a big one. If you have um, smaller legs than me, yeah, no. I don't know how big your legs are. If you, you don't, don't like kids, I 
I have a big heart for kids. That's, that's a good reason. That's a, that's the best reason on this list. That's it right there. That's a really good reason not to date somebody. They don't like kids. Excellent reason not to date somebody. Military men. Do do I need to explain? Like yes. Mm, no. Yes, you do. But those are just a few of my X. Enjoy. So that that lady is like that's like a ninety percent decent list. I don't. I don't. You do have to explain the military thing. I don't get that at all. Bush, bush there on the gang. I mean, it's not a good trampoline jump. It's not like the best trampoline jump. It's a little awkward. But that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Not, 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 not a good, not a good trampoline jump. But um, I mean, you're gonna break up with that guy over the trampoline jump, and he's gonna turn out to be Mark Zuckerberg. That's what's gonna happen right there. <laughs> These are some of my eggs and a man. First off, chap lips. Just moisturize them. It's not that hard. Little horse teeth. Y'all know what I'm talking about. What are little horse teeth? Are we talking about like a little horse with teeth? Or are we talking about like a normal horse with small teeth? What are we talking about? When you're all gums and little teeth. Mm -mm. Next up, we have bad breath. Literally, brush your teeth or use a mint. What? Instagram handle on their car. This is so huge for me because... Is that something people do? Who is literally going up to a car and being like, Let I agree with that. You shouldn't have your Instagram handle on your car. Because he has a it's weird. Cool car? Oh my God. Get rid of that shit now. Next, fruity drinks as a man. Like, drink a beer. No. No, stop that right there. Fruity drinks are amazing. <laughs> good. So let me just be clear about this. Beer is what they call an acquired taste. It is only good on a hot day at the ballpark. Anybody who says they enjoy the taste of beer is bullshitting you. It's not true. If you ask those people, in an honest moment, whether they would rather drink a Coke or have a beer, or Coke, if it had alcoholic content, or a beer, they will take the Coke. Sugar tastes good. Okay, that's, that's, that's a reality of life. Okay, I mean, I, listen, if she has her priorities that, um, that you can't have a good tasting drink, you have to drink stuff that tastes like rancid piss. Can't hold the combo. You are too old to ask me what are you doing every 10 seconds. Messy as fuck. This is mostly because of my brothers. I'm traumatized. They're messy. They don't clean up after themselves. No job. Also, my brothers. <laughs> wow, her brothers are taking it right in the teeth on this one. So, uh, what we have found out is that there are a few... It, it's funny how people will, will list their icks, and there will be, like, a few actual, real icks that are in here. Right? Like, has no job, is a loser, has no life aspirations, hates children. And then mixed in there, there will just be, like, minor things. Okay, ladies, just make a point here. And, and gentlemen, let me make a point about, about your icks. Life is filled with flawed people. All those people have flaws, every single one of them. And so you're going to have to actually determine what is important in life and what is not so important in life. Because guess what? Over time, pretty much all the things that you consider X are going to happen with the people you love. Prioritization would be a good thing. But we are a, a, we are a nation and a civilization without prioritization. And so all things are equivalently icky. No!